In this video, I will demonstrate how to construct a genogram inside Visio. I have used a fictitious family as an example. I tried to make it complicated in order to demonstrate the use of several possible elements of a genogram. Visio was chosen because it is user-friendly and integrates well with Microsoft Word. Of the programs I tried, it was the easiest to learn. Before you begin, draw a rough sketch of your genogram so you know approximately how much space elements will take. This planning will help you decide if you want your drawing to be in portrait or landscape, as well as give you a rough idea where to put your shapes. To start, open Visio and select the basic diagram option. Select whichever units you wish to use and click create. You will see basic shapes on the left. Drag a circle and a square onto the workspace. The default size is way too large since you need to fit approximately three generations on the page. Resize them by clicking and dragging on the corner. Make both the same size using the green dynamic grid that automatically shows up. It is easy to resize everything later, so don't worry if you're not sure how large to make them. Pick the color scheme you want to use under the design tab. I recommend something plain, as colors will be used later for relevant assessment information. If you are using the black and white theme like I am, it will make it a bit easier to construct some of the more advanced shapes. I recommend changing the size of the lines to two points. A thicker line will look better if you need to resize the image inside Word. If you don't already have the Format Shape menu open, all you need to do is right-click on one of the shapes and go to Format Shape. Doing so will open a helpful menu on the right that you can use at any time to adjust the look of shapes and lines. Format your shape the way you want them to look. From now on, I recommend using Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V to copy and paste a new shape based on these ones each time you want to add a shape to your genogram. This approach will save a lot of time. I also recommend going to the View tab in the Show section and enabling the Grid View. This grid will help you know where to place your shapes and will not show in the final genogram. At any time, you can also zoom in and out by pressing Ctrl and using the Scroll button on your mouse. If you don't have a Scroll button on your mouse, Check out the links below for other shortcuts.